Good morning. My name is Stephen Kalov. I am the Post Press Product Manager for Heidelberg USA for a stall folder product line. I'll be your host today, and accompany me is our good friend here, Kurt Siebert. Say hello, Kurt. Hello. There you go. So Kurt's in charge of uh, running our folder today. Also works in the engineering department, help our technicians in the field, is our liaison with the factory, and does training for our customers as well. So good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Before we get started, I'd like to direct your attention to these wonderful stars. This year, 2016, we got the information last week that we won the Intertech Award for our innovation for stream feeding on the TH82P. For those who don't know what the star represents, it's like winning an Emmy. This is our Emmy that we have. We have over 36 of these. Emmys hanging on a wall in the front office. So whenever you come down for a demo, you'll see them. So this is technology innovation that the folks at PIA review with customers and then determine if that innovation is worthy of a star. So not only have we won this year for 2016, we did actually win two other ones previously for our folders. Back in 2005, we won it for the THKH technology for automation on the folders as far as the plates and the roller automation. So that was a big leapfrog for us back in 2005. Now in 2014, we did win another prize for our PFX feeder. A different way of feeding paper by shingling it into the infeed and have an uptick of about 20% on the feeding process itself. So we're really stoked about winning these awards, three in the folder category alone. But let's go ahead and talk about TH82P and the KH82P in regards to technology and a linear speed. Now, if we look at the chart here, the yellow line represents our technology we had back with TF and TD technology back in the 70s, 80s, into the 90s, and early 2000s. So the line on the bottom represents linear speed, and then the number up here represents the output per folder. So with the TF and TD technology, we kind of ran out of, we could not go any further with the speed. So you ran around 8,000 an hour with the older technology. And then as we learned with plate technology and registration, we came out with TH technology. And there we ran 230 meters as our max. But we know with our customers, there's three different zones. There's the comfort zone, the challenge zone, and the danger zone. And what I mean by that is, if you increase the linear speed of the sheet, the more challenges you're gonna have with quality of the product itself. So when our engineers are thinking about, well, how do we get more output of the folder without going into the challenge zone or the danger zone, but still have an increase in productivity, we had to think differently. So this way, on the next thing that, takes place is if you increase the speed of the folder what happens is you start getting this wrinkling effect on the sheet so then the operator would then pull back the speed get to a comfortable level and then run the job but in order to get past that our engineers took the speed out of the equation we're still running the same linear speed between 100 and 200 meters a minute and this is the comfort zone of where our operators are running today on their folders. So the magic takes place is we have a higher net output, but we're also in the comfort zone of the customer, and that equates to quality and increased productivity. Well, you may say to yourself, well, how did we do this? Well, the first example is this is our traditional folder on the left-hand side where we have gaps between the sheets. This is how we fold today on a folder. And I'm pretty sure you guys agree. We we'll always have to have a gap between the sheets in order to have the folding process take place. But if I looked at what we do today as far as shingle folding or stream feed folding, I'm actually feeding five sheets in the same space that I was running three sheets before at the same linear speed. And the way we get over this is we're overlapping one sheet on top of the other but keeping the same linear speed of the folder so we can have our true quality throughout the run. So in this example, on a conventional folder, an eight and a half by 11, 16 pager, 
we can run, say, 10,000 an hour. However, how do we get the productivity out of the machine? By shingling the sheets throughout the entire folding process, we increase the productivity by 50%, so we can around, run around 15,000 an hour. So this is only one part of the process of the T THP technology. There's a few other things I'd like to point out. Now, we can't take the side frame of the folder apart to demonstrate what happens in the first station. However, we're gonna show this on this little pictogram here. So the stream feeder is shingling the sheets one on top of the other into the end feed. So as it approaches the first station, traditionally we would fold up into position number one, but we're gonna blank position one and actually fold in position number two. So we're gonna downfold first. This is where we're going to create the separation between the sheets again. Because of the folding process, we can't pull two sheets into one plate. So as that sheet comes in, we create the fold. And as that is exiting, the next sheet comes into position. And we do have some technology with air management system in that number two plate in order to achieve the gap between the sheets and keep the process going at the rate of speed of 15,000 sheets an hour. So another part we had to uh, develop as well is, well, once we got into the second station and on the, on the infeed, we're having the, the signatures lay one on top of the other, we have to create space one more time between the sheets in order to have the folding process. So if you look at our traditional folders, the plates would be in this position where the sheet would come up, the mechanical buckle would happen, and then the sheet would go through the rollers to create the fold. So here, the engineers came up with a brilliant, brilliant idea. As that sheet's coming in, we have a sensor in this plate. The sensor sees the length of the sheet, and then we have this folder assist from the top that pushes the sheet between the rollers to increase the output of the folder. So this is more like a folder assist. We're not waiting for that mechanical buckle to take place. The folder assist engages, pushes between the roller. As that sheet is disappearing, the next sheet's coming in. That's the magic inside the folder in the stream feeding process. So with that being said, we're gonna take a walk over here to the folder. We're gonna ask Kurt to start the fold up, folder up. We're gonna start in our normal gap folding or traditional folding. We're gonna be running around 10,000 an hour at about 160 meters a minute. And what we're gonna do is Mark's gonna come in and show you that up on the screen. And I'm just gonna step to the side for a moment. So Kurt's going to go ahead and start up the folder. We're going to show in our traditional uh, feeding, so gap between the sheets. We're going to run one sheet through the folder, make sure everything is okay. The PFX feeder will start ramping up. So you can see on the screen right now, we have it set up for 10,100 an hour. So the folder's coming up to speed. Kurt's going to go ahead and show the meters per minute, it's about 163 meters a minute. So this is where the, the magic comes into play. Now we're gonna go into overlapping mode and now we're stream feeding, laying one sheet on top of the other. So we went from 10,100 an hour to 15,400 an hour and at the same linear speed. Can we just show the same linear speed up on the, on the monitor? I'm going to show them up there real quick. So running at this faster speed, you can see we still have the same linear speed of 163.5 meters a minute. So Mark's going to come around just to show you the rest of the process on the TH82P. Machine looks just like our normal folder, but with the enhancements and performance features on the machine. Now I'd like to walk over and show you one other key component of the system that's part of the innovation package for the P technology. All right, we're just gonna run out the rest, the rest of the sheets. All right. Now part of the uh, performance package on the TH82P is also the air management system because somehow we have to create the stream feeding where one signature lays on top of the other and can keep that consistent when we get into the second station. Now, Heidelberg designed this new feature. We have two air bars, one on the bottom and then one on top. The one on the bottom blows air across 
the bottom of the sheet, it acts like an air hockey table. So as that sheet's coming down, we have the air underneath the sheet as it slides on top of the other sheet to make sure we have no marking. Now the top air bar actually blows down air on top of the sheet so we get it to the side guide. Now, if, as you know, in a traditional folder, you know, that sheet gets released and gravity and speed is getting it to the side guide. And then the rollers then catch it and drive it. So you have that little moment in time where the sheet actually stops and it has to accelerate again. So in order to overcome that, we have these two vacuum drums here on the bottom. So as the sheet comes out, gets registered, the vacuum drums now keep the pace for the stream feeding from one signature to the other. So we have one lay on top and we have a perfect stream to go into the next folding station. Now I'm gonna step aside for a second. Kurt's gonna come back in and demonstrate this. So what we're gonna do first is run the folder with our normal gap between the sheets. And that'll run about 10,100 an hour. So the folder's gonna ramp up. P PFX feeder's gonna come up to speed. And you'll see our normal gap between the sheets. Now, he's going to go ahead on the SI pad and switch over to uh, the stream feeding technology or the P package. And now you can see those signatures are laying on top of each other on the second station. And this is true for the second and the third station. So one signature is laying on top of the other one. So we're feeding five sheets in a span of three of what we've done before. Now, the technology behind this, the technology behind this is a few components. One is our PFX feeder, our air stream register table, the plate design in the second station in order to get a downfold in the first position and then create the gap again for the sheets to coming in. We have our air management system and new conveyor table with the vacuum in order to keep that stream going from one sheet on top of the other. Then I we showed before the technology in the second station where that sheet's coming in and we're using that fold assist to help drive the sheet between the rollers. That's taking place here in the second and the third station. And the same management system that we have here on the cross carrier is also on the cross carrier here as well. So if we look in total, the TH82P looks like your normal folder, but with the performance package. So if you're not running the 16-pager, you have to do multiple folds in the first station and perhaps multiple folds in the second station, we can take out those performance uh, components, put in normal plates, and run it as a normal folder. So then you have best of both worlds, the performance folder and as well as a normal folder for regular jobs. Now let's go take a look at the KH82, and we'll go through the performance on that machine as well. So behind me, same feeder, PFX feeder, Intertech War winner in 2014. Same in-feed registration table with the Venturi. Plate design is exactly the same as what we had over there on the TH82P. The only difference in the whole program is the knife section. So as the sheet comes in, we go underneath the knife. The knife activates, pushes that sheet through a set of rollers. Well, here we had to come up with a new design because we'd have a position where the, if the, the sheet was going down as the next one's coming in. So new design and air management system here with also a, a bridging effect. So we're gonna bridge that sheet over the other one as it's disappearing. And that'll become more evident in a video we're gonna show after this uh, folder presentation so you can see how that works. So with that being said, we're going to ask Kurt again to go ahead and start up the folder. So we're going to run the folder back in normal mode, so you have a gap between the sheets. So we're going to send one sheet of paper through, just to make sure everything is working correctly. Then we go ahead and ramp up the machine to run. So the PFX feeder is loading up, coming up to speed. And we're running at 9,600 an hour. And if you look at the meters per minute, we're at 161.5 meters a minute. So we're gonna go ahead now and change it into the performance package. The touch of a button on the screen. And now we've gone from 
9,600 to 13,200 sheets a minute on a 16-page signature. Now in an I folder, you can switch the machine over, do 8s, 12s, 16s, and 32s as a signature machine. The beauty of the KH technology is it's a much smaller footprint for the person. What's also nice is, you notice, Kurt was the only one running the folder. Only one operator when you have a pallet feeder. You can drive the sheets in from your press right to your folder and start manufacturing. So let's do a short recap on things that we learned today. First, I want to show you the short video. So on the left-hand side is the running at normal speed. On the right-hand side, you can see how we stop the image. And you can see as that knife is activating and pushing the signature between the rollers, the other one is coming just above it so you don't have an issue of a crash. That's where the performance comes in to allow us to get that 37% more increase in productivity on the folder with innovations like this on the knife unit. So I have one other slide I just want to show real quick. And at home, if your presentation got smaller, just hit the button and enlarge the sheet one more time. So on a TH82P, we started out at 10,100 an hour. We increased the speed to 15,400 an hour. And in that effect, we have an increase of 42,000 signatures in an eight hour process. Now, two things you always got to look at, you know, what can you push through this machine as 16 pagers? What's the net effect with one, running with one person? And today we showed there's an increase in folder productivity of about 52%. Now, then we took a walk over to the KH82. We ran at 9,600 an hour. We increased it, the speed with the peak performance technology and we were running at 13.6 or a 37% increase in overall output. So today's presentation was to show how can we get more out of our equipment by upgrading the folding process. Because today's environment, you know, we're always taxed with the printing presses running at 15 to 18,000 an hour. And how in post press do we get to the next step in regards to gaining efficiency through post press with manufacturing of signatures? So here, 16 pager is a common uh, fold for customers where we can go from the press side that's running 15 to 18, and as you've seen today, we're running at 15,400 sheets an hour on the folder. Now that's a great productivity improvement from running 10,000 an hour. Based on today's environment, everybody wants a quick turnaround on the product, and this is one way that we can offer uh, a solution to you guys to get to the next step. Now, I'm gonna check one time here with uh, York to see if there was any questions from the audience. If not, in the meantime, there's a couple ways you can communicate with us here at Heidelberg. One is your account manager. You can call him, get more information on the new technology, or your post press specialist in the field, or myself, you can call me, 770-419-6656, give you more information, or we do invite you here to Kennesaw for a one-on-one -on -one demonstration, or even join where we have our open houses and come in and see the equipment here live in the demo room. We thank you today for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for our Full the Frenzy 2.0. My name is Stephen Kolov. Appreciate your time today. Thank you and good morning.